Well, with her perspective on this morning's jobs report, we bring in Christina Romer. She is head of President Obama's Council of Economic Advisors. She is a former economics professor at UC Berkeley in Princeton. She is joining us live from the White House. Good morning, Dr. Romer. Always glad to speak with you. Some traders are telling me they don't actually believe the non-farm payrolls number. Do you consider it an outlier? Uh, what, what is certainly true is that all of these numbers have sampling error, margin of error. I think it is very much in the realm of sort of the progression that we had been seeing. So I think it's not uh, obviously an outlier. We have seen for the last four months the uh, job losses uh, getting smaller, and this is really a continuation in that process. Now, how worried are you about the bond yields, the bond market? I mean, the extent to which higher yields can cap further economic improvement? You know, one of the things one has to be concerned about or thinking about is just simply what's moving bond yields. I mean, because another, we do know that uh, interest rates, for example, on government debt had been low for a while in some sense because people were worried and they wanted to go to the very safe assets. So one of the things that you might expect as people get a little more confidence is a less of a, a move to the really safe asset and a little more uh, branching out to other kinds of assets. So I think that uh, it, is, it is hard to know exactly how to interpret them. Now we know that the government is doing everything it can to stabilize the housing market, but one byproduct of what's happening in the Treasury market is that mortgage rates are going higher. Again, on a scale of 1 to 10, how worried are you about that as the government spends really billions to try to stabilize housing? So I, I think worried is, is not the right word. I think, you know, of course we want the housing market to turn around to, to be stable and low mortgage rates are good for that. And it certainly we know that the refinancing boom that we've had in the last uh, three or four months we think has been very good for consumers. It's really kind of acted like a tax cut when you can have your mortgage payments go down. So obviously we'd be happier if mortgage rates were lower and we're just going to have to see again sort of how this all plays out. Uh, Dr. Romer, it's Peter Cook here in Washington as well. I wanted to get your sense. Uh, the White House has been criticized for perhaps having an overly rosy assessment of the economy going forward. Uh, does this number, do you think, bolster uh, the argument that you all have this right? So, you know, first let me take on the idea that we were overly rosy in the sense that, you know, we have always tried to be realistic back when we made some projections in January. It was at a time before we'd had a lot of bad news, for example, about what was happening in, in Europe and, and other countries around uh, the world. You know, the way we're viewing these numbers is they're encouraging. You can't ever say that when the unemployment rate is at 9.4%, that's good news. Of course, we know that the economy is uh, is still in a in a severe recession. But what this does say is we're seeing the pattern we'd expect to see. Dr. Uh, Romer, as, we as, have as to cut you off, but we do want you to finish your point. If you would be good enough to stay with us, we will go back to Dr. Romer right on the other side of this very short break. We're back in just two minutes. As promised, we are back with Christina Romer. She is head of President Obama's Council of Economic Advisors. She is rejoining us live from the White House. Dr. Romer, thanks for staying with us. Has the Obama administration, is the Obama administration too rosy about what's going on right now in the economy? No, and what we were talking about before the break, I think we're completely realistic. We are watching the economy uh, carefully, and uh, we have, you know, the president has tried very much to be honest with the American people. For example, he has said, you know, even as we start to see things stabilize and, and hopefully grow again, we do know that unemployment tends to lag, and so that unemployment rate, unfortunately, is going to be high, probably stay high for a while, uh, precisely because that's sort of the normal pattern coming out of, the, uh, out of a, a recession. Uh, but absolutely, we have tried to be uh, very realistic. The point I was starting to make at the end of, of the last uh, discussion is, you know, when you think about these jobs numbers, you don't go, what, we lost you know, typically a number like 600, 650,000 jobs for many uh, of those last few months, you don't go from that to suddenly adding jobs. And so very much the pattern we'd expect to see is moderating job loss. And as we've talked about before, that's exactly what we are seeing. What is the uh, kind of number that would make you happy? I mean, if you saw the non-farm number at what, that signifies an upturn to you. 
Well, of course, right. You're, you're never going to be happy until we're adding jobs at a very robust rate. That's the that, of course, has to be the bottom line, the gold standard. What what I look for is the pattern, and I'm seeing exactly the pattern one wants to see, which is that these things are getting smaller. The faster, the better. Um, but certainly, to keep that pattern going is what's ultimately going to be what what turns this around. Dr. Romer, do you expect any uh, possibility that members of Congress could look at the stimulus money that hasn't gone out the door yet and decide maybe it shouldn't go out the door, that maybe we can scale this back? Oh, that would be uh, the worst thing I could imagine because, you know, if you want to say why are we seeing these encouraging signs, I'd put the stimulus package very high on the list. I mean, if you say, for example, what's one of the sectors where we saw the moderating job losses this month, it was in construction. And that's, I think, directly attributable to what we've been doing in the housing market, trying to stabilize that and the public infrastructure investment. And so, uh, you know, the, a lot of this, I think, is being driven by uh, what we're doing in the fiscal stimulus. And uh, I can't think of anything that would, would set us back uh, more quickly or worse uh, than stopping that. Christina Romer, we thank you so much. Chair of the President's Council of Economic Advisors joining us there live from the White House.